HM6 is our most ambitious, our most crazy, our most complex project to date. It comes from another of my childhood souvenirs. It was a, uh, a Japanese uh, manga called Capitaine Flamme in French, which I thought was Japanese, but actually is American originally. It's Captain Future, which was born in the 30s and taken over by the uh, Japanese in the uh, 70s. And Capitaine Flamme had this vessel, which was two spheres attached by a central cylinder. So I remember thinking, wouldn't it be fantastic if we had two Capitaine Flamme spaceships put together. That was the initial draft sketch I did. And in the center was actually the engine powering up those two pods, which were the spaceship. The design language, I on purpose wanted it to be completely different to what you've seen up till now. That's the, the luxury I have at MBNF, is every piece I can do anything I want, there is no brand DNA. We went back to something which was very important for me, the late 70s, beginning of the 80s, an incredible designer called Luigi Colani. And Luigi Colani was the man who was credited for basically recreating bio-design, nature-inspired fluid designs. So from that, we sat down with Eric Giraud and said, let's try and recreate that language of the late 70s, beginning of 80s, fluid, bio, anatomic practically, something which was virtually like an animal. When I first saw the, the, the movement of HM6 working with the flying tourbillon turning, with the spheres turning, with everything actually working, I think it's the closest you can feel to, to seeing your child born. It's not nine months. It's four years and um, wow, it's, we're all in the team extremely proud of this new baby. <laughs>